Hi, I'm Cassie, and this is Surprise Let's Play. I'm going to give you a tour of my doll room, so come with me. So I'm going to start off with my dolls, and then I'll show you where I record and how I record. So on this, um, we have this little doll room rules. <laughs> but on this wall, we have Barbies and Bratz and then reborns. So I'll start with my reborns. You can come look at them. This was my first reborn I ever got. And it was because I had a baby that passed away and I'm kind of morbid and I wanted a zombie baby. <laughs> so here is the zombie baby. They are actually, all of these ones are made, except for this one, these four are made by the same artist. It's Mother Gothel's Reborn Nursery. If you haven't heard of it, you should go visit it. This one, I forgot who the lady was that made my doll, but it's like an avatar baby. She's really cute. I like her a lot. She has her eyes open. And she's also a magnetic pacifier, so you can put a passy in her mouth. This one right here is actually a fairy baby. So she's got pink hair, but she's got little fairy ears if you want to look at them. See, she's got cute little fairy ears. And then we have my brats. So we have a Bratzilla's back here. We have brats, and then we actually also have a Mycene, but the Mycene I put here because she looks like brats, and it kind of ties together the brats and the Barbies. So here we have some inbox dolls by, um, hold on, what was it? GCDS. So I unboxed Sasha because her beautiful dress, I couldn't help it but unbox her. And then I have the Collector's Bratz by Jimmy Paul. And then of course the Bratz Sweetheart Megan. And then up here we have the Barbie Extra Fancy and the other Barbie Extra Fancy in this one as well. And then behind there the bar are the Barbie Styles. I have one through 12. And then right here I have my BFF crybabies, my Disney doll, my big brats, and then kind of a random array of dolls. So I have a Barbie extra, I have a little Boo doll. I have this BJD doll that I absolutely love that was hand painted by Danny. I'll put the, the link below in, in um, her I'll put the link below for her website. And then behind I have a BJD that actually is a recast. So there's a lot of controversy with recasts. Um, but here are the BFF crybabies, like I said in some of my videos below. You can put the dolls back in the little box and then put them on the shelf. So I'm saving these for when my daughter comes home. Right here is my little shelf where I keep all of the hair stuff. Um, I have some towels for hair drying, and then I have some shampoo and conditioner for when I wash their hair, and then blow dryer right here. I also have some acetone back there and some Mr. Super Clear for customizing dolls. Down here is just the hair ties and scissors and things like that that I might need. And then I have right here a snap-on toolbox, a peak one. I absolutely love it. And then I have a mini snap-on toolbox inside. But I have all the drawers filled up with dolls. So here are my extra Rainbow High dolls, ones that I have restyled or ones that other people have custom made, like this one. And this one. Those are custom made by other people. And then in this drawer, I have my Mermaid High and my Fail Fix dolls, and then one Barbie. In this drawer are my Rainbow High shoes. So I'll turn my little ring light so you guys can see it a little bit better. But I have more room and more space for Rainbow High shoes. And then in here are all Barbie clothes so that I can dress up my rainbow highs or my Barbies and anything I want. In here we have um, the Rainbow Divas little makeup cases and then their microphones, some extra hangers, and then the pillows from the sleepover girls. And then in here is some pants for Amaya Rain that I just haven't put on her yet, my big Amaya. 
and then here are all my Rainbow High clothes. So these are all the clothes for Rainbow High. Um, you can find them from all the way from Series 1 to the Rainbow Divas to... And then here I have these shelves. These have the Rainbow High sh socks and the Rainbow High accessories. And then these are all accessories as well. In these, in these ones I have Rit Dye so that I may dye the doll's hair. These are all extra dolls up here that I have custom, customed or that are ready to be customized. See like this OMG doll, I'm gonna wipe off her lips and then make them all red. And then we have my Monster High wall. This is one of my walls that I'm most proud of. Um, I have the Voltageous doll right here. I also have Lady Gaga up there. And then, yeah, the Iris and, I forgot his name, but anyway, Iris and her boyfriend. And then of course I have the Skelector line. And then behind the Skelectors, I have the Haunt Couture dolls. Then this shelf, I have the Holiday Draculaura, and then the my, Be My Creepy Valentine Love Edition of Deuce and Cleo. I love this one so much. Then down here is kind of an array of dolls that I like. And then these ones are the Freaky Fusion. And then down here is Sweet 1600. I haven't opened up these dolls yet, but I haven't quite decided if I wanted to or not. So next we have this wall right here, or this shelf right here. This shelf is going to be for all my Monster High G3 dolls. Um, except for there are, you know, a few dolls that are not G3. I want to put them over here, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the, those dolls yet because I want to have my full collection of the dolls, but I also want to make sure I have room for any of the special edition dolls as well. So we'll come over here. This is my OMG wall. Um, I am kind of running out of room, so I actually have another spot. I'll show you in just a moment. But these are all my OMG dolls. I started collecting with OMGs. Um, I love OMGs body shapes. I think they're so sweet. Um, I'm not really a fan of the OMG Fierce line because they have a fake articulation in the ankle. And I just kind of like think that was weird, so I don't collect the Fierce. But if you come in here, this is what I call the playroom. And I have doll houses in here. And then this shelf, this is the TV so I can watch all you other YouTubers um, while I'm playing with dolls. And then this shelf right here is for the rest of my OMGs when I run out of space for the other shelf. And these are all my LOLs. I have a lot more LOLs than this. I have a huge bag full of them. Um, let me show you. I have this huge bag full of LOLs that I need to still display, but I don't know what to do with them. There's so many LOLs, so yeah. So this is just a little storage area. I have all the art from the dolls in here that I just need to hang up soon, but I'm not done putting shelves up. And let's look at my other walls. So this down here is a pile of stuff that I need to unbox still. And if you look over to the right, there's a bunch of stuff I need to unbox. But next to that is my Rainbow High wall. I love my Rainbow Highs. I love them so much, I wish I could just give them all a hug. And then this wall is my collector wall or the extra room for whatever dolls come out. So see, we have, oh, and this is a customized doll that I bought. I just absolutely loved her because of her eyes. I'll show you an up close of her eyes. See how cute she is? And then I'll show you my, actually, this is probably my first favorite doll line, is my Na Na Na. And I have the teens and then the regular Na Na Na's right here. So the spaces that are open are ones that obviously I still need to collect. And then I'll show you guys where I film. So this is where I film. Um, I sit on this little stool right here. 
inside of the stool there's extra stuff like rainbow high stands omg stands my little earphones things like that so i sit on this stool right here i take my phone and i stick it right here and i film for you guys and then this is obviously what my laptop that i edit off of but yeah this is my doll room and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time bye